Within the past 35 minutes, Sky 13 spotted these flares burning on the east side, and we sent Tammy Rose and our crew to check them out after a lot of people saw red streaks in the sky that could be related. In fact, a lot of you called our newsroom after seeing that red light. Brittany Wilmore has been going through some of your photos. Mm -hmm. She's in the newsroom and uh, Brittany, now you know, <laughs> you know so many people call. What in the world is that? That is the main question and there are a lot of theories. We started getting pictures sent into the newsroom of this red thing in the sky at about 830 last night. Even ABC 13 chief meteorologist Travis Herzog jumped in to try to explain and hear out your theories. And share one of his own like the Astros trying to page Correa and Springer back to Houston Batman style. A couple of folks though they even said guys it's just the glow from Winifred Spellbook and Hocus Pocus. We don't know if this is just a bunch of Hocus Pocus or not but we have tried to get down to the bottom bottom of this starting with its location since it was coming in from the east between Houston and the Beaumont area. Our desk reached out to oil and gas companies in the Baytown area too, East Harris County, Chambers County. We were trying to figure out if it was flaring. Well it turns out this red beam that looks like a transported Captain Kirk back to the Enterprise has a scientific name, a light pillar. Travis explains it better though. That light on the ground is reflecting off the ice crystals in the clouds that blew in late today. It's a special kind of effect that reminds me of something called a light pillar where you see that light stretch out vertically. Well, I think it looks like a red lightsaber. It's giving Star Wars or it's just a red light coming from San Antonio ahead of the Cougs winning tonight. Of course, when we get a real answer, though, we will let you know. And I know someone who always has the answers, Miss <laughs> Alita Loresca. And hey, you know what? If you don't have a light source, if you don't have a flare, the sun does a wonderful job to a sun pillar. So we might be able to see one of those. But you, the other ingredient, though, is you need to have those clouds. You need to have those ice crystals.